Hi guys, it's Halima from Mango Masala at Pi Radio. Happy South Asian Heritage Month. To celebrate this month, we're speaking about the not so spoken about South Asian histories, particularly pertaining to those South Asians living in Britain. Ahmed Iqbal Ullah was a young Bangladeshi schoolboy who was brutally murdered in the playground of his high school, Burnage High School, in 1986. Ahmed was trying to rescue a fellow Bangladeshi pupil who was being attacked in the school playground by a group of white pupils and as a result was stabbed in the stomach with a kitchen knife by one of the gang. What was incredibly surprising and insulting was that the police had ruled out any racial motives for the murder, a verdict that the Manchester City Council claimed to be disgusted by. As a result, an official inquiry was raised in 1988 that found that his murder, quote, would not have taken place if Ahmed Ullah had been white. Racism was one of the vital ingredients that brought the two boys together. The inquiry, also known as the McDonnell Inquiry, also explored the wider issues of racism in schools in Manchester and race relations in the UK at large. Much like the case with Altab Ali, whilst Ahmed's death was first and foremost a tragedy, it did inspire a number of anti-racist initiatives, most notably a memorial fund which saw the opening of a school in Ahmed's home village in Bangladesh. Also, the opening of the Ahmed Iqbal Ullah Race Relations Resource Centre, in partnership with the University of Manchester, situated in Manchester's Central Library. The Resource Centre is, quote, one of Europe's leading specialist libraries on migration, race and ethnicity, unquote, as it increases access to and the visibility of black, Asian and ethnic minority histories with a growing archive of material relating to the local area. Its sister organisation, the Ahmed Iqbal Ullah Education Trust, offers advice, training, networking opportunities, project support, exhibitions, publications and events to help community organisations to record and share their heritage. The name was adopted for the centre because the man who founded it, Kushnik, wanted to send a signal and aimed for the material to be used in outreach programmes to teachers in schools with limited resources and a narrow curriculum to encourage an environment where all children could flourish. Once again, much like in the case of Altab Ali, this is yet another example where the Bangladeshi community have faced disproportionate um, discrimination, they have you know, faced brutal murders and yet they have been able to form positive anti-racist movements. All it does is show the resilience of the Bangladeshi community and the revolutionary spirit that they hold. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to find out more about Ahmed Iqbal Ullah, you can go online and there's loads of resources.